Okay, so when choosing a good outdoor knife or a good camp knife or something of that nature, uh, if you're gonna do a little bit of basic bushcrafting and stuff, there's so many options out there on the market. Now, uh, one of my favorites is, uh, of course, a knife from SE. Uh, this is the uh, SE4HM, right? Yeah, SE4HM, I believe it's got four inch blade, all made in the United States. This is an awesome, awesome outdoor slash bushcraft knife, camp knife, uh, almost like a general purpose knife, but it's mostly used outdoor slash survival. And there's many different variations of SE fixed blade knives. Uh, however, this is uh, about a hundred to about a hundred and thirty dollar uh, US made knife, depending on where you get it. And uh, it's one of my favorites and I use it for a lot of different things when I'm doing my outdoor stuff. However, the question really is, do you need to spend a hundred and over a hundred bucks on a good, decent outdoor knife or general purpose knife? And I don't think so. And uh, this is a company that's been around forever. Moranive or Moranive, however you want to say it. Swedish company. They've been making outdoor knives for a very long time. And the great thing about these is they're extremely affordable. And I mean extremely affordable. Like I said, the SE over here, you're looking at about 100 to $130, these Mora knives. Uh, this one in particular is the Pro C. Um, this guy goes for, I think, about $15 on Amazon right now. I'll put a link down in the description below. You can check it out. Uh, but the basic version, which is even more basic than this, it's called the 511. Those guys go for about 12 US dollars. So you may even be able to pick them up cheaper than that. But the point of this video is I have owned many Mora knives, um, but I've never really actually owned one of these more basic versions. And so what I'm gonna do is start a fire, create a uh, fire from, from scratch uh, using just my Mora knife and a uh, fire steel. So uh, I've done that a million times with other knives, including this one here. It's a blast, it's fun. Me and my son are gonna do a little campfire tonight. Uh, it's a nice fall night, so we're gonna get into it. However, I am going to test out this Mora Pro C that you can get for 15 bucks and just see if you can, in fact, uh, use this to start a really good campfire. Uh, like I said, just this and a fire steel, and we will go from there. Okay, guys, let's get into it. Okay, so first let me just say real quick, uh, I've done a couple of things to this knife. Uh, it's not entirely stock. Uh, that is because these basic uh, Mora knives come with a unfinished spine, uh, meaning that this is kind of rounded over a little bit and it's like really, really rough. What I did is I took a file to it. It's very, very easy to do. Um, I might show it in a future video if you guys want to uh, make a 90 degree spine on here to allow uh, throwing sparks with a fire steel. And also you can see there, it's hard to see in this light, oh, there you go. There is some patina on this. I have artificially, or I, I don't know, I'm not artificially, um, forced patina on this knife to protect the carbon steel from rusting. Plus, I think it looks really, really cool. Uh, it's just a nice thing to do to sort of personalize your knives. Uh, once again, if you wanna see a video of how I do that, uh, put a, um, leave it in the comments down below and I will make a video showing you how I force a patina on this thing. So, just wanted to let you know, uh, yeah, those are the couple things that I did to this. Um, more expensive Mora knives come with a 90 degree spine. Um, some of their more dedicated bushcraft knives do. Okay, so let's get to work on this thing. All right, so this is a nice piece of hardwood that I got. And I guess we'll just see if I can uh, start batoning on this thing. Whoops, got a little bit of a problem there. There, all right. Yeah, this is some type of hardwood, but it is um, it's definitely quite quite a robust hard piece of wood. All right. Go. There we go. All right. You can 
see there. Split it down pretty good. Okay. All right. Let's process this down a little bit more. All right. Now, interestingly enough, these uh, these mortars are not supposed to be uh, full tank construction. People say you can't baton with knives that are not full full stra, uh, full length tangs but I don't know you clearly can here okay this is gonna be some of our uh, kindling for the fire that we do tonight okay I'm wailing on this thing all right not an issue there and like I said this is very very hard wood I think it's oak Hitting a little knot right here. Pass through no problem there. All right, let's get some finer stuff here. Yeah, doesn't really seem to be much of an issue here doing a great job this is actually really really easy um, also uh, the the handle is very very comfortable very very comfortable I mean you can really get a nice full grip on there and um, you know just get some shavings no problem put a lot of pressure down onto that a lot of strength uh, it doesn't really take that much like this is very very light pressure right here and it's making light, um, some nice little shavings, um, feathers, if you want to call them that, but, um, yeah, but if you really, if you really get into it, I mean, it bites into the wood, no problem. Yep. And, uh, take a look at this, All right? I'm going to use these shavings for our fire and I mean, you can get some really, hold on a second, some really, really fine stuff if you want with this blade I mean yep see that I mean that's really really thin so fantastic there all right so here we go I'm gonna throw some sparks with the Mora see if we can get this thing going There we go. And here we go, guys. Start a fire going. You know, from this point here, you can start uh, throwing some smaller twigs and, um, you know, drier stuff on it and it will, uh, and it will go. And then you got yourself a nice little campfire going. So you can actually um, throw sparks pretty good with the, uh, the Mora here once you put a nice 90 degree spine on here. Okay, guys. And just like that. Get yourself a little fire uh, just with the Mora here and a fire steel. So, this thing's great, guys. Um, absolutely perfect for doing this kind of stuff, and I really, really enjoyed it. So, highly recommended. Pick one of these up if you don't have one. Okay, my friends. So, in a day where a lot of things have gone up in price and a lot of things cost a ton of money, um, and are uh, not affordable for a lot of people. This is something that if you're into outdoor knives, you're into camping, you're into uh, bushcraft and stuff, this is something that still is such an amazing value for the money. 
and it is a great, dependable, durable tool that you can have with you out at your campsite or um, just out with you in the field or just around your house as a general purpose knife. Um, if you're into, like I said, if you're into basic bushcraft, this is going to be good for it. Even if you're into a little bit more advanced stuff, uh, which I'm not, but I know some, you know, some people who are, this is such a great option. And for $15, I mean, it's just, it really is very, very nice. Uh, I love this knife. Highly recommended. Um, there's a bunch of different mores out there. You can go check them out. Um, just type in more knives or more Neve in uh, Google or something like that. And you'll see all the different models that are available. Um, this is the Pro C. Absolutely fantastic. Highly recommended. Check it out, guys. Thank you so much for coming by here today. And uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.